Hey guys, if you're curious as to how we're launching our podcast, we're actually using this app called Anchor, which makes it really easy and it's completely free. The app itself has creation tools that allow you to record and edit right from your phone or your computer. And the best part is Anchor will distribute your podcast for you, so it can be heard on things like Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many others. On top of that, you can actually make money off your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's literally everything you need to get your podcast started. So if you want to join us in the world of podcasting, download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm. That's A-N-C-H-O-R dot F-M to get started. Now back to the show. Hello. Hey, everybody. That sounded so forced. Like you're like forcing your happiness. Who, me or yeah. you? No, you. Oh, I'm always forcing happiness down my throat. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> How have you been, bud? It's been a while since we sat down. I know. <laughs> I, well, um, if you know me personally, you know how it's been. Um, I've been sleep. No, I haven't even been sleeping in. I can't sleep in. I can't sleep in general. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just awake. I'm wide awake. Mm-hmm. Um. I guess I'm just gonna. I'm, I'm just. Are you gonna, just gonna spill the beans? Yeah. Um. Me and Michelle had been let go. Well, it's not just me and Michelle. Hold on, that sounds worse. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> yeah. The whole company. So essentially, the place, the the our employer. Employer. I don't know how to say this. The I didn't establishment practice. that we were working for went under uh, because of the result of the pandemic, and we no longer have jobs i have um, no job <laughs> i have no prospects I'm i am a burden, burden to, to my, my family, family. <laughs> um, <laughs> um so it's been a very hectic wild yeah week I mean, weeks he, weeks uh, so let's break it down we literally had just come back from my birthday vacation and literally that thursday we were told the news that we just didn't make it and, and we had no jobs. And we had no jobs. And then I had a whole week of just packing my store up and saying, this is it. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, okay. I think that it's... A, That's the best way to describe it. I, I agree. I mean, it was very quick. Um, I literally had a day to process and then I, it was done for me. Yeah. Like, I literally got on a call and they were like, that's this is it mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and then they're like tomorrow's your last day and and like that's how for I, you yeah for, yeah for me like yeah i didn't really get time to process but i i kind of want to like maybe we can talk about it here i mean i think this is our safe space and i mean I, not that we're like the, it's not like we're the only people in the world that's right. ever been laid off especially when the pandemic i mean we kind of got laid off then too uh, no <laughs> we were uh what is it what's the word furloughed furloughed uh, we didn't lose our jobs like this is different like there's no coming back or is it no, 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 there's no, no, it's done. It's, not, there's, it's done. Uh, <laughs> we buried that hatchet. Yes. Um, like it, it's done. Like there's no coming back from that. Like there's nothing for yeah, us to come yeah. kind of pick up. And I think we both feel very bittersweet. Yeah. About it because like we were there for four, four, four and a half years. I would say no, let more than that. No, I think four and a half four would be half? accurate. Yeah, yeah. It, I was it, gonna. We were gonna both hit five in June. Yeah, it kind of felt like home. It was in a weird way. It was a safety net. I would say. Yeah. Um, I would say the best way to describe it for me because I pretty much stayed in Palo Alto the entire my, time. My entire time when I was not working from home that one weird year. Mm-hmm year and a half um but yeah like i knew everyone everyone knew me and then just like that i was done and it was just like okay now now what yeah um but yeah like in a way like i i would also kind of put myself in this like thing where i'm like oh i can't like my job like i can't do this yet like you know what i mean like i would find an excuse and use my job your job as an excuse not to do not to try something new right yeah Yeah, now i I don't have that (laughs) yeah which is i mean which is scary i think the bittersweet part is like the people some of the people that we worked Mm -hmm. with like um i feel like at the end of the day you and me will be okay yeah um i feel like we'll figure it out we'll figure it out like i think that we took we're taking this little tiny i like to say a break Mm -hmm. um 
where we're trying to figure out what our next steps is, whether, I mean, now we don't have the excuse of like, we can't focus on the podcast because we're working Mm -hmm. or we can't focus on creating content of our own because we're working. Now we're not working. And then now we have this chance to either. Now I just can't focus. (laughs) Yeah. Because you're worried about finding a job, but I feel like, or at least that's for me. Like I can't focus. I have no motivation because like I'm in low key in a panic about it Mm -hmm. like i i really want to be like transparent with you and our audience about like this experience because like i like i stated before like this is not the first time that people are going through this right i think everyone goes through that feeling that you're feeling yeah um i'm feeling i guess the best way to describe it in my words is i'm feeling slumped like i'm just like uh, like that's the best way to describe it i'm just feeling slumped i don't really know what's next you know, because that's the thing, like, everyone who has talked to me and they're like, oh, so what are you going to do now? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> me, I don't excuse know. Excuse me? <laughs> no, um, no, I agree. Um, And I think it's okay for us not to know. Like, I, I know that everyone's, like, kind of, like, I feel sometimes when they ask you, like, they're holding their breath trying to figure out what the fuck you're going to do next. Does mm-hmm. that make sense? Like, they want to know, like, oh, like, so what are you going to do now? And And they're like, like you feel like for me sometimes I feel like like people want not, not that I feel pressured to give them an answer but in a way yes mm-hmm. because like I don't really have a plan yeah I have plans that I kind of want to pursue but I don't have like a direct path and yeah I mean I obviously I'm going to get another job um whether that's going to be like I don't know I don't know where like I'm, I'm just gonna apply to random places uh-huh. and um see where it goes from there like yeah I mean I would ideally I guess if anyone's listening um ideally I would like to work from home <laughs> um to, but I don't know yeah that's it's, it's it's exactly what you said like I feel like I have to have an answer but I don't I don't have a game plan really like I felt like it was bound to happen. That sounds terrible to say, but it was bound to happen to our company that we weren't going to make it. But I thought I just had more time. And yeah, like, I mean, it sucks, but I've met incredible people. Like, I've gotten to know a lot of people. And it's kind of sad that it's over with. But um, not really like a happy ending, but we are getting to go to like a goodbye company party yeah this this week week. yeah i agree like like you said like i've met so many we we both met really great people working um at this company and i feel for me personally i've grown like professionally a lot going from like a kid who like i I literally started working retail like right out of high school Uh um and then i went into management and then i went into marketing and i've discovered like different things so for me, career wise, I feel like this kind of launched like the beginning of my career. Now, mm-hmm. I don't think that it's over. I think this is just like a step. And it, if I'm being really honest and transparent with myself, um, I think that it was time for me to go either way. This just makes it a little bit easier because it, I wasn't the one to deliver the news. Yeah. But it also kind of hurts because like you're it's kind of like a rejection, like your, your security blanket is being pulled away. Mm-hmm. And now you have like <laughs> you have this choice where you have to like either follow what you want to do or find another security blanket. And I'm in the fork of the road where like I don't know if I want to necessarily get a security blanket or if I just want to go for it. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, well, that's pretty much it. I mean, it, it sucks, but hopefully here's to new beginnings and, you know, to better career paths. Um, another life update, not that you care, but now you will know. I dyed my hair. Um, you went through the full crisis. N- did I? Yeah, I did it literally once they told us, like, hey, we didn't make it. I was like, I'm just going to dye my hair. Um, <laughs> I mean, it looks really cool. You did purple. Yeah, I, I bought this, like, it's like a semi-permanent, like, conditioner thing. Mm-hmm. It's uh, by the company Overtone. And what's great about it, it's not, not sponsored. Not yeah, sponsored. not sponsored. But they can totally do yeah. it, too. Um, but, yeah, I was a little worried that it wasn't going to show because my hair is already very dark. Um, but it does show in the sun. I've even right now that we're in the in the shade, yeah, in this room, like you can see the purple, especially where you had the blonde. Yeah, done. 
Um, it shines re- really, really pretty. I, I really like it. Yeah. I'm kind of jealous. So I did that. Um, also, Kevin's birthday is this week. <gasps> it's happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Kevin. Mr. Chu. This episode is brought to you by Kevin's birthday. Oh, gosh. Um, another uh, life update. <laughs> I owe you update. some shots, buddy. Yeah. Uh, another life update. Tax season. Don't is- forget to do your taxes if you haven't done them. Um, We're I, working on them. I'm about to submit mine, so hopefully good money, good fortune. Many, many fortunes. Many fortune, many best wishes yeah. for me. <laughs> Actually, today that we're, we're kind of... Re- wow, I totally stuttered there. We're kind of recording this episode a little bit earlier. Like a day earlier. Because mm-hmm. um, today is February 22nd. Yeah. Um, And everyone, I keep on my... I'm going to bring back the TikTok. Okay. Uh, they're saying that today is like one of those like I think it's called the mirror day and it's a good day to manifest. Okay, so if you want to, I mean, the, no one's gonna hear it today because we're not releasing it today. <laughs> so I messed this up. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Well, guys, uh, yesterday. Hopefully, you manifested <laughs> yesterday because you didn't hear it today because <laughs> it's over on Wednesday. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't. I don't know why I even try. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. Uh, um, but that being said, uh-huh. with us losing our jobs and me don't dying, manifest my, it. Don't manifest at, it. It, it, already, <laughs> it manifested already, um, and me going through a crisis by dyeing my hair. You really did, though. Um, you did the thing where, like, a boyfriend broke up with her, and she, like, a girl, yeah, and she, like, decided to dye her hair and, like, have her, her like, I don't know, well, her no, moment. No man has broke up with me, because I usually ghost them before they can. That's true. Anyways. True. Um, I've been catching up on reading. I mean, I've only been unemployed for like three days now. Uh huh. Um. So yeah, I've been catching up reading. It's been a hard time for me to read and work. So now I'm sitting down and reading. What are you reading? Um, I'm halfway through it. It's called A Deadly Education. Ooh. Explain. Explain. Um, what's the, what's, what can you give me a, a synopsis? A synopsis. <laughs> a summary. A summary of what you're reading. Uh, yeah, essentially, it's about a a school where it's a bit deadly. Um, essentially, you have to survive your your school of learning in magic. Um, there's like Hogwarts. A little bit, actually. You want to know funny funny story? Uh huh. This author was inspired to write this book because she used to write a fanfic. I'm not even freaking, I'm not even joking. A fanfic of who? Of Harry and Draco. Harry and Draco? <laughs> yeah. I was like her I was like Hermione. No, Harry and Draco. Uh but it's no, it's it's uh, the cast is like the main girl and it's like this like golden boy. Um yeah, it's very interesting dynamic. I'm halfway through. Oh uh, yeah. I feel like I have to say this. <laughs> what? Camille, you got to be an author, man. <laughs> you have to become an author. Write a book. Yeah. You have really great writing skills. I'll just leave it at that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I, I've started that. I've also bought in a couple of books that are on my list I need to finish. Um, uh, which one are you moving after this one? Are you... Because I think that's a series, isn't it? Yeah, but I don't have the second book. But Would you go get the second book before you started a whole new one? I don't know. I'm not one who like needs this. I don't know. We'll see. I'm only halfway through the book. You make me feel bad. Why? I'm, I'm the type of person who like starts a series, and if she likes a series, she has to get the second Well, I one. haven't finished the series. Do you not like it? I mean, okay. Oh, God. <laughs> Spill the tea, girl. Spill okay. the tea. Is it not your, your reading style? I don't think it's my reading style. Oh, no. Um, I mean, it. there's a part. Harry, Harry and Draco didn't make it. I guess not. I don't know. Like, I'm reading it because I, I'm not a quitter. Um, but as, I don't know. Like, at one point, I didn't even know. Maybe I missed it on my end. Mm-hmm. I didn't know the main character was a girl for a while. Like, I went through a couple of chapters thinking it was a dude. And then I was like, oh, no, it's a girl. <laughs> <laughs> like, in my head, I was picturing a dude. And I was like, nope, that is a woman. <laughs> um, oh, my God. And I was a little... And then I feel like she uses these terms where I'm like, if you don't really know, like, magic stuff or, like, Harry Potter, mm-hmm. like, with like potions, her- I was lost. Oh, my God. So I'm like, I don't think this is for me. <laughs> 
<laughs> but you might like it. I do like fantasy. I, really I mean, like I like it. fantasy too, but apparently I'm not good enough for this fantasy. Uh, um, <laughs> but yeah, I really thought the main character was a dude. And I was like, I, I'm embarrassed to say that because maybe I missed it. I'm pretty sure you did. There's no <laughs> way. <laughs> There's no way. And like halfway through, I was like, oh, it's a girl. <laughs> Girl, there's no way. What's her name? L. E L. That's it. How why would there be a boy named L? Don't be sexist. There could be a guy named L. Oh Anyways, um, I guess so, because like Eli. Yeah. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Anyways, um But I'm like L, I'm like Eliza. Really? Yeah, it's the L, yeah. Interesting. Or Eleanor. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, I okay. mean, I just feel like some of the, the terms that she used, I just maybe I'm just not educated enough in my <laughs> magic hexes and spells that I'm a little confused. I was like, what? I'm like, well, I'm I'm not- <laughs> so, I mean, how do you not know the main game? <laughs> What? <laughs> anyway, oh I don't think this episode is going to make it. <laughs> now I'm embarrassed. <laughs> but you actually finished, I think, no, you actually finished three books, didn't did you? Did I finish three books? You did the, uh, so I know you finished The Seven Husbands of Evelyn. Oh, yes. The, so The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. And then. Really good book. Totally different from what. Maybe I, I should read that one. I, I, think, might, I might understand I that would, one better. I think you re- <laughs> would really like that because okay. you discover a lot of things that she did and not necessarily fairly good things um it's a really i think you would like okay that book. okay well, um, that? you just finished the sarah j mass crescent uh the crescent ha- city yeah the part sec- two part two <laughs> house of sky and breath um, okay and what was the last one there was one before that there was one before that yeah i i swear oh uh with the Hades. Oh, yes. Neon um, Gods. Neon, neon Gods. gods. The, is it? Oh, sorry, what was that? Neon Gods. <gasps> I'm oh so sorry, you got blood eggs. <laughs> They're like, it's uh, It's called time. Neon Gods, and it's a retelling of Hades and Persephone. Ah. Um, very, Do you think I could understand that book? <laughs> um, I think you could understand it. I'm not sure if you would be into it because it's very, oh. it's very spicy. Spicy. Okay. Um, there's a lot of, you know, that one, um, that one audio on TikTok where it's like, oh, you like a lot, like to read a lot about dick. Yeah, uh-huh. that's that. There's a lot wow. of, there's a lot of dick in that book. Wow. Okay. Um, so I don't, I don't know if you would be into it. Um, I was a little, I was, I was shook a little bit. Okay. I was shook a little bit. I handled it. I took it like a man, but. Oh. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah. He's it's, pulling his. <laughs> I'm not going to say that. No, that's, we're, we're that's, literally, get that's literally me, me reading that book. Like open it like, uh-huh. oh my God. And then like reading wow. past and you're like, oh my God, that's me. Wow. Um, But my favorite out of the three, I mean, they're, they're all really good. Um, nice. I am devastated that I am done with Crescent City Part Two. Nice. Um, yeah, yeah. No, I have a few books that I still need to read. Like I have right here, I'm looking at my one of the bookshelves, uh, the Final Girl Support Group. Mm-hmm. Um, that one seemed really interesting because one, I love a good horror movie and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So I love the idea that all these final girls meet up and now they have to try to stop whoever is trying to kill see i feel like you're very driven by like murder mysteries (laughs) i'm just driven by murder (laughs) that's why i think like out of all my fantasy books i think you would like crescent city well see i i assumed i was gonna like this one too because essentially in the a deadly education Mm -hmm. there's no teachers by the way it's literally a school that is based to kill you like you have to survive what? So I was like, oh, I'm going to like it. It's like a survival type of thing. Like, I, I read The Hunger Games. I liked it. And The Maze Runner. And The Maze Runner. I love that one. And here I am, struggling. I mean, <laughs> that's fair, I guess. No, okay. I, the reason why I think you like Crimson City, mm-hmm. um, it's less spicier than the books, the other books that Sarah uh, Mass has written, and it evolves around a murder i love murder and the (laughs) essentially you follow bryce the main character Mm -hmm. and she is trying to figure out why these people were murdered what their intentions is and as Mm -hmm. you read the book you figure out you figure out who did it first off and then the why is carried on to the second book as well so like you get a little you think that you get the why in the first book but the second Uh book really reveals 
more of that. Wow. Yeah. And it, yeah, it, it's the person and the people who've died in the first book that launches Bryce's journey. Um, they hold a lot of secrets. Um, which low key, like after reading this, I just, I literally just finished this book, but low key kind of pissed me off because like, if you guys read it, like I wish I can describe it without spoiling it, but like, it really pissed me off because like a lot of these secrets and a lot of the action and the sacrifice that this main character had to give could have been totally avoided if someone would have told her before that these people had died. Oh, wow. But then again, like it wouldn't be as interesting if we knew that. Already. Got it. But it's it's really good. Um, I would say that the second book for Crescent City is Book Talks uh, version of Spider-Man No Way Home. Mm. Um, yeah. OK, yeah, I have no idea what that means. But anyway, <laughs> yeah. um, if you read it, you'll know. I, I don't know. Um, no, actually, no, because you need. No, yeah. OK, you're right. You're right. OK. Um, Sorry, I'm blanking right now. But yeah, um, hopefully I get through more books. Uh, I'm a little sad that I, <laughs> I'm embarrassed. <laughs> it's okay. I, I mean, just, I assumed it was a man, okay? The way that they <laughs> described it, I felt like gave out a man description, but it's fine. It's, I mean, we don't have to put a gender on the right. characters. They could be whatever they want. That's true. Um, they, can, they can live. And then I, I want to talk about another thing real quick. We're moving on from books. But oh, in a way, it could bring back books. Okay. Spring cleaning. It's almost spring, I feel like. Like, the weather here has getting warmer. I mean, it was a little chilly, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Um, but, but yeah, it's time, it's time for spring cleaning. You know, we're getting rid of stuff. What? Would you donate any books? How, is there any books you would donate? Or are you just going to keep more books? Um, I probably There's probably a couple of books that I have that I would like to donate. Um, but for the most part, I think my co- my collection is pretty sparse <clears throat> for, the, for the time being. I mean, I did buy like six books yeah. recently. Um, yeah, don't look at me like that. Don't look at me that way. Um, uh-huh. But I, I do... I think I'm going to... I don't know. Some of them I haven't even read. I'm really upset that I bought like this really thick <laughs> book from Target, thinking that it was one book from uh, from like Book Talk. Uh huh. Um, <laughs> was it? Do you have it here? Yeah, it's uh, the Gilded book up there. Okay. Um, I thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay go ahead I had my embarrassing moment I thought it was a different book um, by a different author but they have the same t- I think it's like Guild is the so what one. what is this on the I back, have you know? no idea okay I guess we'll research and find out I don't know I'm cu- okay I'm down to read it there's a crown and things melting off the crown so I figure like it's gonna be fantasy um, and it's going to be good. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Um, I was going to ask you, too. Is there any, like, stuff that you already know that you're like, we got to get rid of this? Um, in the house. In the house. Or even, like, in your wardrobe. I mean, there's there's big furniture that we're going to get rid of. Um, uh, Like, things that I have to replace. First thing in my mind was, like, my dresser. Mm-hmm, same. Um, I have a little kid dresser. A dresser that I've had since I was, like, eight years old. Um, and it's getting very difficult to put my clothes away. So I have what we like to call depression piles. Oh, I have many of those. I have two um, because my T-shirts won't fit in the drawers because the drawers are too, like, narrow. Right. Um. So, yeah, I have no, to go I get a dresser. That. Um, I assumed I was buying, like, this really cool industrial dresser. Turns out it was not really a dresser. It was more like a... Like a storage, <laughs> like put away bin. Yeah, they're like tin tin bins, but they're they're wood. They're yeah. Um, but yeah, they don't really fit a lot, so I need to get a new dresser. So, yeah, um, yeah. I feel like we could use those uh in our office closet t- for like supplies. I think they would fit a lot mm-hmm. better than clothes. Yeah, no, I agree. Um, so I I get you on that one. Yeah, so I definitely want to get rid of that. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Um, there's a few things too, and then like I have some old hoodies and like I was gonna say a majority of it is gonna be clothes yeah. again. Uh, I feel like I'm a hoarder of clothes and I never wear them anywhere, and I'm mm-hmm. kind of just over it now. I mean, I feel like I have so many t-shirts that I don't even wear. Like I have a specific 
t-shirts that I do wear Mm -hmm. a lot and then some that I don't even see a day. So I think I have to donate some or even try to sell them. It's really hard with when it comes with clothing because some people are like so down to buy clothes and other people don't. And then you donate them and then, you know, these companies will just upcharge upcharge them for the, yeah. And you're just like, dude. At this rate, yeah. Yeah. No, I agree. Like, I have, I feel like I should get rid of all, like, my band t-shirts. Yeah, I don't really have I a don't, lot left. Um, I don't wear them at all. There's a couple that I feel bad, like, there's, uh, like, uh, that remind me of memories, like, that Lady Gaga one, when me and Kevin went to go see Lady Gaga, I bought a t-shirt. I've never worn that t-shirt once in my life. Maybe you should wear it. At least once. Mm. Oh. Mm. yeah it's i not mean my style i i have i have a couple of band tees that i don't even look at um at one point i got really into tie-dye mm, and mm-hmm. there's like a few tie-dye shirts that i do not even look at i skip it so i'm like maybe i should just get rid of those yeah i think i have one that i was supposed to match with you and it's like like a gray tie-dye shirt oh and it says like everything is fine or mm-hmm. something or no everything sucks I everything think. sucks and i'm just like i think I, we got that at hot topic when you still work there yeah and i've never i've worn it like twice in my life and i just yeah. i don't like the fit i don't even like the placement of where everything sucks is i realize i'm getting picky with my t-shirts like i like a specific style tee now yeah um i feel like my wardrobe now has been my t-shirt wardrobe that i repeat is all from Adelaide's Fort. Shout out to Adelaide Fort. Yeah. Um, and I'm actually really sad because one of her t-shirts, I accidentally, when I was moving the dresser that was in uh, dad's bedroom downstairs uh-huh. to their guest bedroom, um, because it's so old, like one of the wood. Uh-huh. Um, the, like, it was like a splinter. The, the, really a splinter. the trim, like splinted. Yeah, yeah. And it cut a hole in my Asgard shirt. Oh no. And, she, and Adeline doesn't, or Adelaide doesn't, sell that shirt anymore oh, and it's like the softest shirt ever it's one of my favorites i'm so i have it. i have one like that too it's my such a posure one i could see like a little hole starting to come and i'm like ah but i yeah. i feel like i i i've realized i'm really enjoying like the long the thicker like the, the thicker neck thicker neck or higher like, neck i think it's more like the vintage t-shirt yeah um yeah i'm really liking those i like a, i guess a boxy cut yeah, like a boxier fit. Yeah. I realized, too, that I, instead of, back in the day, I used to wear, like, t-shirts that, like, form fit me. Mm-hmm. So, like, a small, even a medium was, like, a little bit loose. Um, But now I like them, like, like you said, like, boxier, like, bigger. Yeah. So, I, my t-shirts are all large now, and I, lo- I love them. Yeah. Yeah. So, I agree. I feel like. I don't know. I guess my style's always changing. I don't know. And then, like, there's also, like. Shoes I probably should get rid of that I'm pretty sure I have not worn a few shoes in years. They're just in boxes collecting dust. So I'm like, all right, maybe it's time to do that. But same, you know, sp- it, that's the whole point of spring cleaning. You know, you got to bring in that good mantra, the good vibe. I have a whole bunch of stationery too. <laughs> so if anyone needs a journal, <laughs> let me know. I have a lot of them that I haven't written. Oh uh, yeah, journals and stuff. Um. Pencils. Pencils. Um, I, I was going to say Funko Pops, but... No, I'm not giving I'm never Funkos. giving those away. Sorry. Sorry. But yeah, no, there's just a lot of stuff where I'm like, okay, I don't even use this. I need to get rid of it. Yeah, um, that's fair. But yeah. I feel like there's so much more. Like, I also think, like, low-key, our motives for spring cleaning is, like, we now that we don't have jabs, um... We could technically move. We have nothing to hold us here, really. Yeah. I mean, it'd be fun. Mm-hmm. Suggestions to anyone who knows any cool places to move to, uh, let us know in the comments. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, honestly, I I feel like it's, you know, to, it's a new year to new you. Um, <laughs> honestly. That's how I'm feeling. That's my... My mode. That's I guess? your motto. My motto. Yeah. My it's a, mantra. It's a, your mon. Your mantra. I don't know. Um. But yeah, that's how I'm feeling. I mean, it's just it's one of those things where it's like, all right, let's just let things go. Um. In the wise word of Mar- Marie Con- Congo. Condo. Condo. Mm-hmm. If it does not bring us joy, we must let it go. Yeah. And then we thank it for its time, and we say goodbye. Thank you for being here today. 
<laughs> That's fair. You yeah, know, you know what I mean? I dare you to do that as you're cleaning out your closet. <laughs> okay. You got to do it like every time. Okay. Deal. Okay. I can't wait to watch you do that. Uh, all right. Um, do we have a question of the day? Uh, I mean, does anyone know if anyone's hiring? <laughs> what are you guys doing? I don't have a lot going on. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, no. For reals, though. If uh, anyone knows if any place is hiring, let me mm-hmm. know. Um, or Jackie. We're open to work now. Um, also, uh, you know what? I think we should do a poll of what our next episode should be. Okay. Um, we have ideas f- to talk about how we would redesign Disneyland. So there's that. Mm-hmm. Um, what other idea do you have? <laughs> 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 Great question. Oh, um, where should we go for Michelle's birthday? Oh, that's a, yeah. Yeah. That's a great question. Yeah, like Chewy. My birthday's coming up. Your birthday's coming up in May. I know our intern Joshua did not know that. (laughs) That one hurts me. That one did hurt. I thought I was his favorite. No, no, no. It's okay. He didn't know my birthday either. Um, (laughs) But yeah, we were thinking about planning a little, like, I think we should get away. You know, we have the time now. A girl's trip, per se. Yeah. So, like, where should we go? I was, I want... This is really weird of me because I'm not usually like a tropical type of gal. Mm -hmm. You want tropical? I kind of want to go somewhere tropical. Okay. And the reason why, if you guys are curious as to why I don't like the tropics, um, because it's hot. And second, I would be wearing less clothing. Mm -hmm. And third, I'm insecure. (laughs) She's insecure. (laughs) She's Um, insecure. Yeah. (laughs) We know what for. Yeah. (laughs) The whole internet at this rate knows I'm insecure about my body, so, you know. Um, but no, I kind of want to go um, somewhere nice and tropical. But, yeah, uh, if you guys um, have any suggestions for where we should go or... Um, Maybe we should just stay home. That's probably the most <laughs> logical thing you've said all day. Um, yeah, just let us know. But uh, anyways, we'll see you guys next week. Goodbye. Thank you.